This is about recognizing companies, large, small, medium-sized companies that have made big investments all around the state. All of you here are the future of Massachusetts. You've demonstrated resilience and stamina and found a way to grow your business in a really difficult economic environment. You are all playing such an important role in the health and recovery of our economy by creating jobs and driving innovation here in Massachusetts. We are very lucky in Massachusetts to be really the geocenter for life sciences. It really comes down to the people. The talent pool here is continuous, has really made this a special place to be for our company and many, many others like us. So Vertex was founded in Massachusetts in Cambridge in 1989, and we specialize in uh, biotech and pharmaceutical research and manufacturing for rare disease. Currently, we're really highly invested in cystic fibrosis uh, manufacturing, um, as well as uh, cell and gene therapy. And the new facility that we're very excited to have just brought online is focused on type 1 diabetes. The universities, healthcare, and biotech and pharma companies like ours have an incredible talent pool with which to, to draw from. So when you bring these things together in one area like we have here around the state of Massachusetts, it becomes a fantastic place for biotech and life science. So I think this award is something that really helps to validate um, the decision that Vertex has made to commit to uh, work in Massachusetts. Bayer is a global company that encompasses agriculture, also uh, consumer health and pharmaceuticals. Obviously, Kendall Square is the innovation hotspot anywhere in the world for life sciences. So it made sense for Bayer to come to Cambridge and to have a presence here so that we can really tap into the best talent, best science, and uh, really try to bring the best drugs forward. It's an honor to be recognized for uh, such an award. And even though we've only been here a very short time, it shows that we've made a very major impact and a quick impact. With the technology here, the people here, the resources, it's a fantastic place to work and live. The intellectual workforce from the schools in the Boston area are key to us growing and developing our products. We are a food manufacturer. We specialize in co-manufacturing, private label, and food service. Our company actually has other locations in seven states. We have found our Massachusetts labor pool, the talent, the variety, the diversity is actually better than any of our other facilities, and it has a long legacy in the food industry. We really have had a great experience in Massachusetts. It has been a place where we've created over 700 new jobs and 300,000 square feet of manufacturing. And as someone that was born and bred here, I'm very proud that, that Monogram has done its largest growth, its largest investments, and our greatest future all is in Massachusetts. We're the global leader in high-performance power modules. We innovate and drive technology into some of the most important applications on the planet, including AI for data centers, electric vehicles, robotics, industrial applications, and those kinds of uh, technology areas. We have highly complicated technology that we've developed, we manufacture in Andover, and we're able to tap into the local community, not only the technical expertise here at universities like UMass Lowell and Northeastern, but also the resource base around skilled labor and employees. We've been around for decades and employ over a thousand people, but we're sort of under the radar. The employees who work so hard, and it's been just a, a matter of uh, great pride for them. Edwards Vacuum is a high-tech corporation that makes cryogenic pumps. These pumps are actually used in the uh, semiconductor industry, so Massachusetts is a great place for us for several reasons. One, like I said, the educational base for the high-tech folks that we need to develop our products is critical for us. And also, we have a fairly large customer base in the state that we're servicing. Edwards has been in Massachusetts for over 100 years. We're committed to this area, we're committed to the state. Put a lot of effort into giving back to the community, and a winning award like this is validating the, the choice to stay in Massachusetts. Being located in Central Mass, having access to major highways. Access to highly educated and skilled labor is fantastic in this area and that's important to our technology. That small hometown vibe that you have and so it's been very welcoming and it's, it's been a great experience so far. Catania Oils is a fourth generation family owned and operated processor and packer of edible oils. 
We service the retail, food service, and bulk industries. Massachusetts is a great spot for us. We relocated to AIR about 30 years ago. For us, being able to shape property and the facility to our specific needs and you know, go through multiple different expansions was something very you know, special for us. Receiving this award would be such an honor. Uh, my company has a lot of rich history, and one of the things that we often uh, refer back to is my grandfather's um, involvement in the business. Never in his wildest dreams did he think or live to see the company grow to the size that it did. So seeing the growth and the impact that we've had on you know, hundreds of employees and families, a truly great honor. We are a world leader in fluid path technologies. Our specialty is these little peristaltic pumps that I brought one with me. We also do tubing, fittings, single-use assemblies, uh, mostly for life sciences, biopharma, medical device. What makes Massachusetts a great place for our company is the alignment to our values. Like, we are putting 100% solar array on our roof. We have rainwater harvesting. You know, we're trying to take care of the wellness of our employees with walking paths and a fitness center and a cafeteria. So we're trying to make it a great place to work for the great people in Massachusetts. Receiving the award, saying that we had such a great impact to the economy of Massachusetts and the people here is really special for us. RLS Complete is a third-party, temperature-controlled third-party logistics provider. So we store and distribute frozen food or refrigerated food for production-based customers or retailers or distributors. Massachusetts is a very good state for cold storage providers. And there's a number of food manufacturing companies in the state. From the logistics standpoint of the geographical location of Sturbridge, it's got excellent highway access with Interstate 84 and Interstate 90 right there. Sturbridge has been great for RLS right from the inception when, when we began a, our site search. The municipality, all, all the officials with Sturbridge have been great to work with, very supportive. The Impact Award, it's great to be recognized for, you know, the economic development in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. All throughout southeastern Massachusetts, I think, there's just a lot of opportunity. Strategically located, we're right by 495, we're right by 95, we're right by Route 1. And Massachusetts is a place where you can create businesses and actualize those things that you know will contribute to the community. Rockton Beer Company opened in June of 2022. The company itself has been in business since 2018, brewing our own beer, and we finally opened our brick and mortar building, our brew pub, uh, 2,800 square feet uh, in downtown Brockton, Massachusetts. We wanted to be part of downtown Brockton's revitalization plan. And our goal is to create community through craft beer. You know, the diversity of downtown Brockton, the city itself, and the communities that we all inhabit within the city, we thought was going to be a great place to open this business and to try and bring folks downtown. We are a minority-owned business. We're the sixth black-owned brewery in Massachusetts. So we're proud of that. It gives folks who look like us, you know, that inspiration, we hope. You can do this too in Massachusetts. We're humbled by the honor. Being such a young business, I think shows that uh, folks are really taking to what we're trying to accomplish in downtown Brockton. We are the worldwide leader in science. Staying in Massachusetts, you know, being in the biotech industry, pharma services, it has exactly what we need, smart people. We have brought in 150 jobs with the intention of almost 300 by the end of this year. We strategically bought the facility because we have room to expand. When we build that rest of the building out, we're going to be upwards of 500 to 600 jobs in that area. We were also able to procure the lot next door. We have about 18 acres for future build out. So Thermo Fisher has really heavily invested in the Southeast region, just recognizes the investment that we have done to the little town of Plainville with this, the largest viral vector facility in the world. It's a huge honor for us. We are a nonprofit organization helping the life science startups. We provide lab space, state of art equipment, also services to help them out, such as legal, mentoring, etc. We have created uh, over more than five years a robust community consisting of uh, 25 member companies. In 2022, we completed a phase two expansion, thanks uh, in part to the Mass Life Science Grant, as well as a private foundation. We are privileged to be nominated. We are the engine to revitalize the economy in that part of the state, in terms of companies, as well as um, job creation. 
and the opportunities for local college graduates, as well as underrepresented minorities living in the area in terms of both entrepreneurship and the jobs. I think that Western Mass is on the cusp of something exciting. Home to hundreds of manufacturers and many large OEMs. It's a lot of recreation developing in the area, and we're excited to be part of that development. We are a precision machining facility catering to the aerospace, defense, and highly technical markets. The company originated in Massachusetts, um, and it is home to many, many precision machining facilities in what we call the aerospace alley. We're very proud of the machinists, the engineers that we have. We're very fortunate to have many vocational schools around us, as well as the technical colleges that are hands-on, and they are the pipeline for our future. We're just proud to be growing and for this award. Muskie Mountain is the fifth oldest continually operating ski area in the country. Western Mass is a great area for recreation and we're excited to be part of that development. Muskie has been sort of an anchor property in the area for such a long time and so it was important for us to stay open while we went through our purchase and then our capital projects to improve the mountain. It would have been easier to close. We decided to lean in and work hard, and I think this award is sort of recognition for all that hard work. Citizens in Mass Econ are thrilled to recognize your hard work, your ingenuity, determination, and contributions to the Commonwealth. You have committed uh, as companies to grow your organization, to invest in your people, and invest in Massachusetts, and that's what we're here to celebrate.